In every person, there is a dream inspired by God to do something great with his life. Something that will make a lasting significance. It starts during our childhood years, where we often wished ourselves into the pages of our favorite fairy tale. Because stories of adventures speak to that longing in all of us, a longing to know we have worth and value, a role to play in the stories of our time. The problem is, life is not like it is in stories. Sometimes the God-chosen path for us does not guarantee jaw-dropping, earth-shattering, heart-racing adventures. Sometimes there's no adventures at all. The day events will go exactly as predicted, with no or slight change from everyday tasks God has called us to do. Homework is still homework, routine is still routine, and dinner must be made before the end of the day. Most of us feel our lives are quite average, far from the extraordinary life of Jesus and the apostles, but this is where we got it all wrong. As Henry Nguyen noted, the greater part of God's work in the world may go unnoticed. There are a number of people who become famous or widely known for their ministries, but much of God's saving activities in our history could remain completely unknown. That is a mystery difficult to grasp in an age that attaches so much importance to publicity. We tend to think that the more people know and talk about something, the more important it must be. But Jesus lived most of his life as a carpenter before his public ministry. Was God displeased with Jesus when he was just doing ordinary things, like making a living? Was Jesus any less the Son of God when he was doing ordinary things? No, Joseph did no extraordinary thing. In fact, he was chosen by God to do something mundane and monotonous, to father Jesus on earth and to be the husband of Mary. His life as a faithful husband, a good provider, a loving father, show us the value of a hidden life live in simple obedience to God, faithfully staying to this path of righteousness day after day after day. It is simply different, a different way to live out one's call. He may be overlooked by everyone else because there is not much publicity in what he does, but he is not unseen by God. As Hagar testified in Genesis 16, the God who sees me. In the words of De Cassand, what God does is always new and original. It is the action applied at each moment to produce ever new effects, and it will extend from eternity to eternity. It has produced Abel, Noah, Abraham, all different types, Isaac also original, Jacob from no copy, neither does Joseph follow any prefigure, Moses has no prototype among his progenitors, David and the prophets are quite apart from the patriarchs. John the Baptist stands alone, Jesus is the firstborn, the apostles act more by the guidance of his spirit than an imitation of his work. They are all vastly different from each other, different cares and concerns and responsibilities, and it is highly unlikely that they will resemble each other's daily life. They are very different, but all are called to be holy in different way. All are called to serve in a variety of ways. God does not need to look for extraordinary tasks in order to make each person a unique being. It is fulfilling the most ordinary duties that a person is original.
And where did David go after being anointed as king? He went back to the fields and continued to shepherd his flock. I live much more in God's will when I do little ordinary work He gives me to do right now. God's will does not hover over the work. It is not behind the work. God's will is in the work itself, and His will reveal itself at the proper time. It is the smallest things that I meet the very greatest.